Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I thought I'd just uh, do a little bit of a different uh, video today. And this one is uh, on two artists, uh, in my opinion, two of the greatest artists that nobody knows today. Um, I mean, some of you may know, uh, but uh, the majority of us don't. And uh, I think it's a, it's a shame that they're not household words or more famous, put it that way. Um, every now and then you hear something that just catches your attention, at least in my case, uh, it happens, and you just are astounded by the brilliance and the beauty of what you're hearing, yet you don't know who the hell it is, and then when you find out who it is, you say, well, geez, I never heard of that guy or that group, and why is that the case? Well, here's two good examples of Again, my opinion, and, and I tend to like progressive music, progressive rock, specifically. Um, that's the genre uh, of music that I enjoy, and that's where I think these folks fit. In uh, they, they sort of traverse the line of popular music and prog, but in both cases they're brilliant musicians. Um, the first that comes to mind, and, and, and sadly... Um, uh, I have to uh, say that this person recently died on uh, November 20th, uh, the past November 20th of 2021. His name is David Longden, and David was the lead singer of uh, Big Big Train. Um, he's been with the group for probably the last decade or so, um, and a brilliant, brilliant musician, multi-instrumentalist, um, played guitar, played bass, played keyboards, played the flute. Uh, a lot in, in Big Big Train, but more importantly, he was the front man. He was the, the lead singer, co-writer, and just a phenomenal voice. Just such a beautiful voice, um, very uh, distinctive voice. It, it's almost the timbre of Peter Gabriel, yet it was his own, you know, his own stylings, but very reminiscent of a Peter Gabriel-esque type uh, vocal but just soft and beautiful to the ear. A very melodic, um, brilliant musician, brilliant songwriter. Big Big Train is an interesting group if you do not know about them. Um, the drummer from Spock's Beard, uh, Nick DiVirgilio, uh, is in Big Big Train now and co-writes a lot of the songs uh, along with David. And uh, um, just very interesting music. There's, there's maybe nine people or so in the band. Um, uh, two young ladies as background vocalists, they also play instruments, and a, and a host of other folks in the band, but really, really talented group, um, producing some of the nicest prog, um, but not, you know, not, uh, what's the way to put it, not, not head-banging prog or prog that, you know, blows you away with virtuosity, just beautiful songs. Again, traversing the line of pop music with prog. Um, and you could think Procol Harum, think Genesis, think Peter Gabriel, and that's the stylings that you're going to most likely find. Um, hints of folk uh, in Big Big Train. Uh, but again, it's a shame that, uh, that this genius and, and wonderful artist we lost way too soon at 56 years old in David Longden. Um, some of their uh, albums that you might want to uh, look into are the Underfall Yard, which is the first album that um, that uh, David Longden appeared on. Uh, they had a, a, another singer in the band for many years prior to David. David took over uh, with the Underfall Yard. English Electric, parts one and two, great, great albums, full of great songs. Folklore, which is one of my favorites, and there's a great song on there called Telling the Bees, um, which L Longden wrote and Definitely look into that one. Great song. Uh, Common Ground, and the most recent one is uh, Welcome to the Planet. Uh, it was released in January um, after he had already passed away. So that's one artist that uh, I'm bringing up. The second one is another astounding person. Great artist. Again, one of the best that you've never heard of, I'm sure. His name is Peter Jones. He's a multi-instrumentalist. 
and he is um, in several appears on several albums as a guest musician, but he records under the band names of Tiger Moth Tales, interesting name, and most recently Red Bazaar, B-A-Z-A-R. And both of those groups are well worth looking into, Tiger Moth Tales and Red Bazaar. Again, phenomenal music. This guy has been blind since 15 months old. He had a, a retinal um, disease uh, of which he lost his eyesight at that early age and then over the years decided to take up all sorts of instruments. The guy is a prolific musician and songwriter. He plays keyboards, he plays guitar, he plays bass, he plays the saxophone, um, and everything is, every instrument he touches, he's a master at. Uh, just a unique individual, Peter Jones, or Pete Jones, as he goes by the name of sometimes. As a matter of fact, he appears on... Um, uh, a video with David Longden um, and the group Magenta. They do um, a version of uh, a Steve Hackett song. And again, the name um, escapes me at this point. Sp oh, Spectral Morning. Yep, that's the name of the song. Um, actually, Steve Hackett wrote it. And um, uh, David Longden wrote the lyrics. Great, great song. Phenomenal performance that Longden gives, a live performance with Magenta, and Peter Jones plays uh, guitar on this piece. And the way he plays guitar is very um, similar uh, to uh, Jeff Healy, if you remember him, when he passed away. Jeff was also blind, and he played the guitar um, horizontally across his lap, flat, almost like you're playing a keyboard. That's how Peter Jones plays the guitar. And he does a phenomenal lead on this uh, Spectral Mornings. You have to check it out. But, um, again, he's another multi-instrumentalist, great songwriter, phenomenal vocalist. Um, just the songs are very, very different. Uh, again, in the lo along the lines of pop meets prog. A lot of the songs are Genesis-like in nature. Um, uh, some of them are yes-like in some cases, um, lighter prog, more melodic prog, great vocals, and, and great instrumentation. So I will put links down below to both or, or, or both of the efforts of Jones, Red Bazaar Spectr and, and um, Tiger Moth uh, Tales. And I'll also put a link for David Longden and Big Big Train below so you can check them out. But I highly recommend, if you don't know these artists, to become familiar with them because, again, my opinion, two of the greatest artists that nobody has ever heard of or knows. And it's very, very sad. Um, in a world uh, starving for uh, progress, change, hope, enjoyment with this horrible situation with COVID that we've been going through for the last couple of years, um, we all welcome uh, a new and different experience, and it always comes, in my case, from music. And these two artists are a great way to start in terms of uh, taking on uh, newness, and, uh, and who knows, they may become two of your favorites. They, they've become two of mine. So again, I'll put links below. Um, let me know your thoughts. If you have other artists that come to mind, that um, I may not be aware of, or people, they're not necessarily household names that you think are, uh, should be, um, let me know. It's, it's great for discussion. Again, if you find these videos helpful or of interest, um, please subscribe. And uh, until the next time, guys, be well and stay safe. Take care.